Hello and welcome, my name is Maturius and welcome to a new episode of Frostpunk in the challenge against Blister Kitty. Blissful Kitty, I should pronounce it right. And the last episode we built the house and uh, the shelter, shelter for the children. And the main problem now is food. Food is our main problem, so we are going to work to that. Oh, we got our first quest. A note of thanks. We just wanted to thank you back in London. It was only the wealthy that did have their children sent to work in the new world you can create. We uh, can see things different. Yes, I know. So hope will rise. And uh, yeah. This is going great. People from the company with the basic resources secured for now, we can try to re rescue the people we left behind. Build beacon and scout the frostland. All right, so that's I guess is <gasps> nope. Oh my, that's going to be our main goal for now. But I think the main goal for now is getting food. We got zero people working here. Uh, max of three, I guess. All right. And I am going to pull those five away from that one because we need more food. We definitely need more food. And I also going to pull three in that, yeah, away from the f from the steel. And we got eleven. That's eleven food. We need more, but that's the only thing we can spare. And I also want to build a medical bay now because oh 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 that was not what I meant to do medical bay yes I want to have the medical bay ready why can't I build it there not adjacent to a street yes so we'll build a street that's not the hardest thing to do all right. So I guess the street is being built. Because I want those sick to be better. Coal mine depleted, all right, that was a thing I was waiting for. So I get 15 people working again and the engineers. So the main thing we need now is um, I'm, 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 I'm tech, tech, technology, yes. So let's build it, engineers can work there. And that's a good thing. Then we can build a beacon. This uh, this uh, going very good at the moment. But I guess we are going to have some problems. What's this? Oh, the day is gone. And that should the hunter should go now. At the moment, I think. And we're almost at the temperature drop. And at the moment, these are all hot areas. And that's why I wanted to have the medical bay ready. I'm not really sure if this is a smart thing at the moment, but I'm just hoping that it's not too far away. From the core. Because when the frost will hit, the temperature will drop and some buildings will not function. I still don't see the hunters go. Where are the hunters? Are they already gone? Yes, I guess they're already gone. Alright. I do need to look up uh, Blissful Kitty's uh, episodes because I need to know what she is doing, how she is trying to battle me, and keeping her people alive. My main goal is to get medical up and running as fast as possible because that's why I will lose a lot of lives and I don't want that. No, nope, we don't want that, because, but, but food is also a problem at the moment because people are eating like rabbits. Damn. Ooh, the tech building is ready. Let's let's slow down a little bit. Pause it up. Um, I can have five engineers working there and close at this time of day. All right, great. And because it's night, I was hoping to see the hunters uh, go hunting. Oh, there they are. There are the hunters. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven deaths. They're all accounted for. And they go magically through the wall. Funny how they go through the wall. Iron. Call the deposit or whoa, that was scary. Alright, now I need people to work here. Oh the engineers already also work the medical post. I didn't know that one. Then I can put more people to work here. And also the children will work there. Illness and health care. Look at the sick. They're all, almost all gone. That's a good thing. Alright, let's speed it up a little bit. Because, um, yeah, I want to see what... Because we are going to hit day 4. And day 4 is... Oh, already 4 sick. 3 sick coming. Man, come on. We are getting low on food. I wonder how much food I get from raw meat because else the next law will be something with the food part because that's going to be our main problem. I don't have enough people to go hunting and to get our other resources, but yeah. Let's speed it up a little bit. The nighttime is a little bit. Another day, another shift. Well, that's life. Yes, Rhoda, a little. Eight? Eight people, man. The temperature is starting to make life really difficult. All right. Uh, allows us to uh, heat the workplace during working hours. No, I want the beacons. Lucky I got enough metal because then I can get more people, and more people means more stuff we can do. I wonder how much time this will take. At least we got our medical bay. Is it still operational? Inoperative. Oh, great goodness. So that's a problem. Can we push the overdrive button? Yes, we can. Oh. Is it getting warmer now? Is that helping? No, that's not helping. If that's not helping, I'm not going to risk the overdrive button because... Oh. I wonder how long this stress level will stay. Hmm. Because I'm not getting any heat there at that moment. Should have placed it one one step closer to the to the. Can we destroy this one? And and yeah, we can. We are going to place that one little spot closer because just because we need it to be. Ooh, we got a problem. Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after the, we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group. Yeah, a lot of people didn't. Sure, they did still out there. Yeah, they could be frozen, they could be dead. And uh, yeah, but they still could be alive. So we are going to see can go. Yeah, I don't mind that. All right, let's fix this medical posting thing. And let's fix this mistake all right let's hurry it up a little bit research almost done that goes pretty fast all right max workers here and it is operational what's this frostbite we must do something yes i know uh, what do you want me to do then? Radical treatment, yes. Else there's nothing we can do, I guess. Hmm. 
Hmm. So we got three gravely ill. Milt Frostbite, Sisson Gravely Ill, yes. I guess we are going to do... Alright, let's slow down a bit because there are a lot of things going to happen now at the moment. And I'm not... So I get the beacon. And... Steam hub when power... Steam hubs. Card generator, these create additional small. That's interesting. We need some steel for that. And what do we have more? A cold grumper, a sawmill. I guess we also need a sawmill. We really need a sawmill because once those wooden blocks are out, and I got only. How much percentage do we get here? Wooden crates. I don't see that. Is that 3%? No. 33. We got one more wood block left. Alright. Um, we get a lot of sick people, patients. Alright. Um, all right, so let's head on. No, 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 no. I wanted to make the beacon. How do I make the beacon? Do I construct it somehow? Tech. Yeah, we need to construct it. Holy crap, that thing is huge. I wonder if this needs any uh, heating. I don't think so, so... Let's construct a road to it, because they need to have a road to that, right? And then we can speed it up a little bit. Wood crates depleted, that was something I was waiting for. Then we got the people working on this wood crate. And I guess these are the last one. Beacon is built. We're no longer lost and blind. From now on, our people will be able to su survey the ice barrier that surrounds the frostland. All right. So that's some achievement we did in this episode. We are truly going in a speed rush at the moment. And look at that beacon go. That looks amazing. Is it going any higher? Alright. So, what's this? Lost Expedition or Crash Hide? Lost Expedition. Send scouts. Why do rescue our lost five? Why can't I send them? We can see people moving about. They must be lost. I guess I need... Go directly to the beacon to deploy a new unit. Create a new scout team. Let's pause the game in a moment because this is going a little bit too far. I need workers. I mean, I need five workers and I need 40 wood. So I guess time will be running. And as soon as we get that wood going to remove those five from this area. Oh, it's free time, so I'm not going to get the wood. Ready to search. People cheer and giant observation balloons soaring above the city. This is real feat. Yeah, no. We need a win. Volunteers have lined up. Alright. Yeah, that that's fine, but I need uh, four more wood. And we need radical treatment to uh, save the lives 
Ooh, discontent. I hope they won't cut my leg off when I, when I fall ill. Yes, of course we will cut your leg off. That's why we do it. We're almost at uh, day six. And uh, yes, I'm going to... I do want to send out uh, at the search party in this episode. We're low on food and I also need more people on this area. So the next episode we are going to focus on more food because that is a problem at the moment. But after that... Yeah, I, want, I just want to send an expedition team out in this episode. So we are going to rush this a little bit. Just a little bit. Making this episode a little few minutes longer. But uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel and you haven't watched the first episode, go back to the playlist and uh, check the link down below. Also check out uh, the link of uh, the web channel of Blissful Kitty. She is my challenger. And uh, yeah, I hope to win to survive longer. And at the moment, I'm doing pretty well, but I haven't seen her uh, episodes yet. So yeah, we'll have to see. And uh, yeah, if you're new, push the sub button. I really appreciate it. Leave your comment down below and push your thumbs up. And we are going to push forward. Oh, why did speed is slow again? That wasn't what I was waiting for. All right, so we got the wood. Now these people <clears throat> are going to be the expedition and I'm going to make one more expedition. All right. And they will arrive. So scout number one send out lost expedition and that's where we're going to end this episode. I hope you all enjoyed this episode and uh, yeah, they have been sent out and I hope to see you guys at the next episode. And uh, thank you for watching.